Okay, so I've got two photos that I've imported into my phone and basically I want to show you how one works and one does not work. So step one is to make sure you use this import 360 photo to make sure this little trick works, all right? Uh, no shortcuts. So from there I imported them, two of them. One is going to work, one's not going to work and I want to show you what that looks like. So for example, um, here we go, there's the um, photo first thing you need to do is make sure you use that little uh, the dots in the top right corner right click that little dot and make sure you pick a maps listing and this will obviously update some kind of metadata in the file that uh, you need so this is called Superstore alright so real Canadian Superstore I'm just waiting for the one there you go there's mine in the center and now that obviously updated that one. I want to do the same thing with my other one just to keep it all equal. Same thing, little dots. Pick a map listing and again I'm going to go back up here. I'm going to type Superstore. There you go. Okay, so they're both so they're both done. And if I publish this, I'll publish this one and I'll publish this one. Okay, I just clicked that little bar that said publish. And when you finish publishing them, you're going to notice one of them uh, immediately uh, gets rejected and the other one gets approved. And uh, I did a little bit of homework on this and while we're just waiting for a few seconds. I want to show you the difference in the files. So here's uh, the file listing and this is the original file here and you can see it's 2.1 meg and the dimensions is 3584 by 1792. So I went on to Google Street View and I found out that the uh, images have to be a minimum of 5300 by 2650. So that's what I did. So I changed it. And it's quite funny that the this file is actually smaller <laughs> than the original one. Okay, so what I did was I used this program called Infer, Inf, IR Fan View. Our fan view. I, I can't pronounce it right, but you get it. Um, if you need to know where it is on the internet, it's literally that name.com, I R F A N view.com. So you go download that it's a free program. If you are a little more technical, you can go find the portable one and you literally just open the document, the document, I mean the image, and from there you can just resize. You can type in whatever size you want. Uh, and it will upscale the photo for you. For the people that want to do something a little more advanced, you can always write a little batch file, right? And that batch file will go and convert all of them for you. It's all in the help screen, uh, but this is the one-off version of that. So from here, let's see what happened here. So if I click on my profile, there's there I am, Real Canadian Superstore, and if I lift one up, you should see that one of them is approved and the other one is rejected. See that? So the one with the low resolution was automatically rejected, even though they both had that metadata in there. So um, I hope that helps. It, it All of a sudden, all my photos have been approved since I've made this slight change. So I changed the resolution using uh, IR Fan View. And then the second thing is I make sure I always pick a, obviously, pick that place in the, using the top buttons, right? Pick a maps listing is literally what it's called. So hope that helps. Have a good day. Bye for now.